Hey YouTube, this is G-Man, and uh, welcome to part 2 of how to make a PlayStation 2 portable. Today we are going to be talking about and showing how to design and make your own case. Designing is just as important as, as actually cutting the case, because if you don't draw straight lines, you're not going to cut straight lines. So it's really important to use a ruler and just measure everything. And for the things for, we're going to need for a case that I didn't show in the first video, well, I show the tax switch, but uh, we're gonna need a we're gonna need a charging jack. This is a a jack from the eBay screens. You can just cut it off. I like to use them because it comes with the screen. And then this is just a a switch. Make sure you get a a bigger switch. This is a, a six amp switch, so it's a it's good enough to cover higher voltages. So we're gonna start out by designing the case by by drawing with pencil, and I'm gonna start out by drawing drawing the screen and we have a calculator here to make sure everything's all centered so I'm just gonna measure this top part and it's 16 centimeters long so I'm just gonna go in the middle 8 centimeters and draw a line there just like that so our 5 inch screen we're using the dimensions of the screen cutout are 10.8 by 6.6 .6 centimeters so we're going to do 108 millimeters divided by 2. That's 54. So we need to make sure we have 54 millimeters on each side of the screen. 54 is right there. And then 108. And now we're going to go ahead and draw a line here. See what I did there? That's that's the the top of the screen. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just take this piece of plastic that has a good edge, and I'm just gonna put it up at the edge of the screen. Make sure it's all straight. And now I'm just gonna draw the line going down. I'm just trying to make sure this is all straight. And then I'm going to do that on the other side, too. Okay, see ya? Now we're going to just... The sides of the, uh, the screen cutout are 66 millimeters. So we're going to draw... Measure out 66 millimeters. Draw a line right there. And then we're going to use our straight edge again and connect the line. Now we're just going to draw that. See? That's the screen we're going to cut out. Now I'm just going to check the other side to make sure it's 66 millimeters. And it's it's pretty close. Yep. And that's how to make the screen cut out. Alright. Now the next thing we're going to be designing is the, the analog stick. So first we're going to measure the analog stick hole. And that is 7 eighths on my screen cut out. So I'm just going to put this where it looks nice. And you got to make sure you keep everything away from this line. Because if you put the buttons too close to the screen, then uh, you're going to have complications. So just start out by designing them away from the screen. And I'm going to put that right there. And then I want to make sure I get it symmetrical. So going to measure not going to measure but that's about straight now we're going to okay see what I did there I just draw I drew two circles and I'm just going to make sure it's a comfortable spot yeah it's all right I think I might raise them a little bit. 
good thing about pencil is it, it comes off really easily. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna make them higher. Okay, that's where the two circles are now. Now we're going to draw the D-pad hole. So for this we're portable, we're going to be using a D-pad from an NES controller. And why? Because NES controllers are really cheap to get, and the D-pads feel really nice, and they're really easy to, to use the D-pads in other portables. So we're going to use the NES D-pad. So we're probably going to keep it close to the analog stick somewhere around here. So I'm just going to put this template put this template somewhere where I find I think it looks good. And then I'm just going to trace around in there. Cutting D-pads is probably the hardest part because it's got to be perfect. And if you make it too big, then it's going to look ugly. But even if it's too big, it'll still fit fine. There. That's the D-pad we're going to cut. Now we're going to measure. We want everything to be symmetrical. So I'm going to measure exactly opposite of that. And place the triangles and square action buttons. Okay. So the action buttons, we're going to measure them. They are... thirteen thirty. No, we're going to do a little bigger. No, we're going to... 13 fifths. Or, I don't care if you get that. 13 20 thirds. I think this is, I don't know. And we have to do four of these. So the first one is going right here on the very edge. Get it close to the edge of the the edge of the case so that way we have enough room. See? That's the first hole we drew. Now we don't want things to get too close, so we're gonna measure how far this is supposed to far. It's about a centimeter off. Let's see, do we have enough room for this? Yeah, we need to shorten this a bit. Okay, so the first one is going to be the second one. We might have to change this design a little bit if it's if I put them too close. That's the second hole I drew. Now we're gonna me measure this the space between the two buttons. It's about one centimeter. We're gonna mark a line in the middle, and then we're going to continue this line so that way we know where to put the other two buttons. See that? Now we're going to put these two buttons about one centimeter off. I just marked two lines. Both are five millimeters away from the center of the cross. And now I'm going to draw my two circles right there. Doesn't look that bad. There's my cross. Now I'm gonna show you how to draw all the tack switches. So we're gonna I'm gonna be using seven tack switches right up in the front right here. 
seven because three of them are for the screen controls where you can change the contrast and brightness. Two of them are for the volume up and down controls. And then the other two are for start and select. So we're going to start out by measuring the distance between the bottom of the screen and this line right here. That's four. So we're going to make it... I'll put it right here. It's one and a half centimeters away from the bottom of the case. We're going to draw that same line right here. Now we're just going to connect it. Eh, that's not straight. Yep, that's a good thing about doing pencils. It comes off easily. So, try to make this straighter. You know what? I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's about straight. Alright, how's that look? Just draw a line at the bottom. So we need to find out where to put our three buttons now. I'm going to try to group the, th the three groups of buttons. So we're going to have three buttons all close together here, two buttons close together here, and two buttons to close together here. So that way there's you can tell which buttons are for which. And I'm going to darken this line up a bit. So we'll start out... Yes, measuring the buttons. So just put them through a hole until you find out. They're one eighth inch. See? So now I'm probably going to put the first hole. And I'm gonna, that's going to be the star and select. And I'm going to put each group's one centimeter away from each other. The next hole is going right there. I just drew two holes right there. Now we're going to draw three holes in the middle. One probably don't need to draw the circles for these. One, two, three. Those lines are where the screen controls are going to be. Now we're going to have two more over here. One, two. There, we got all the buttons down. Now the next thing we're going to draw is the shoulder buttons. So we don't need, we're not putting the shoulder buttons on the top, so you can put that out of the way. And we're drawing the shoulder buttons on one of these side panels. For the shoulder buttons, we're going to be using these. These are just uh, tack switches with uh, big button caps on them. You can really just use anything as a shoulder button, but these are going to be easy to use. And I like the colors of them, so we're going to use them. We're going to start by measuring the hole. I think that says 7 sixteenths. Probably going to put... Oh well, yeah, first I'm going to measure out where these go. Oops, drop one, whatever. I got it later. I just drew a line where those buttons are gonna go. So I said they were seven sixteenths. There, those are the two holes. 
Now I'm just gonna make sure they good button placement. So they the two buttons don't touch each other. Yeah, and that works. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. Probably don't need to measure it for this side. There. Got the two shoulder buttons done. Easy. Now we're going to be drawing out the hole for the, the on and off switch. So we're going to start out by measuring it. And it is, it is about... Six by five millimeters. And we're gonna put this right in the middle on the top panel. So six There, I just drew a square there. That will be big enough for the on and off switch. Alright, now here's our KSV dish design. We got the nice front with all the buttons drawn. We got all the shorter buttons and the on and off switch at the top. And I played around with it, just fooling around, and it's all comfortable. I think it's going to make a good case. Now, that's basically all. The next part, I'm going to be showing you how to cut out these holes. Because this video was just too long to, for designing it, so I'll, I'll put it into two parts. Thanks for watching and subscribe.